guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the long-awaited Christmas home tour. We are finally getting to it. I'm really sorry it's taking me this long. I really had every intention of filming this in the second week of November, but it just never happened. So thank you for being so patient. If you're new here, hello, my name is Taryn. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe and like down below. I'd love to have you as part of our community. So this is the first year I've really gone this all out for Christmas. I usually decorate. I always have a tree up. I always do, you know, lights and things like that. But this year, as you haven't been watching my videos recently, pretty much the last five or so videos that I've done have been Christmas decor haul. So I have been slowly collecting a lot of stuff over the past few months. I think I started in October and you know, I was still buying stuff a few days ago. <laughs> so um, I have got a lot more stuff than I have ever done before. And I've really been enjoying having all these Christmas decorations around throughout our home. Before I get into it, I just want to let you know I am gonna do Vlogmas this year. I've already filmed day one. So if you haven't seen it already, I will link it down below. I'll link the whole playlist so that if you're watching this later in December, you can see the entire thing. Um, um, but please come along and follow on my vlogmas. I tried to do vlogmas last year, but I only lasted I think two or three days. So this year I am, you know, my head's in the game. We're gonna do this. We can do vlogmas this year. And also just so you know, I am gonna be doing a Q&A during my vlogmas this year. So if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, please leave them in a the comment down below and hopefully I will get to your question when I do film my Q&A. So let's get into the tour. So starting at the front door, I have this Christmas wreath that I got a few years ago from Target. I went for this one this year because I wanted a bit more of the sparkle. The one I had last year is gorgeous, but it doesn't have any sparkles on it. So I wanted a bit more glitter. So I'm using that one this year. And then I have put this garland that I already had up around the door frame. And then I just sort of strung in these um, bauble lights that I got from Bed Bath & Table at the end of last year. I got them for a bargain. They're about, I think, 3 or $5 for the entire thing. And they light up at night. So it's really light there. I've never decorated anything outside before. So this is a first for me. It's not that great, but um, yeah, it does look a little bit more festive than usual. I also have this Merry Christmas welcome mat um, that I got from Big W earlier this year and it's a bit small but really cute. I really like the font. When you first come in, we have this entryway wall kind of thing. Um, so basically what I've done is put one of these wreaths up from Kosh & Co. And then I already had this bell. Um, I got it from a local gift boutique, so I'm not really sure where you can get one, but yeah, I just sort of hung that over the top of the wreath. And then down here I have, this is the stockings that Target have this year. They are gray knit with sort of a fur on top and then they've got some dangling pom-poms. This I believe was from Kmart last year. I haven't seen if they have anything similar this year, but it's just like a door hang thing. And then this one is the, um, what would you call it? Like the Santa magic key because we don't really have a fireplace so Santa does need a key to get in because he will not fit down the chimney. Um, this little basket is new. That's from Adairs. I got that recently. You would have seen that in a haul if you follow my videos. Up here I have a tree. This one is from Ikea and I just put it in a pot from Adairs. The pot that it comes in is just like a little black one. So I popped that in there. Um, I have this little sled that I got from a local gift boutique. It is an ornament. It does have a string so you can hang it on your tree, but I already had one on there. So I've got this one here. Um, and then the diffuser is from West Elm. I'm not sure what the scent is. I think it's like a pine scent. It is a pine scent, but I'm not sure what the actual name of the scent is, but that's there. And then I have the Merry Christmas sign that I got from Spotlight. Um, they still have them in stock. So if you like them, you can go grab one of those. The pine cones are from kosh.com.au. They were a huge bag, well not a huge bag, but a bag for about $3. I think it's about maybe six in the bag. These are books that I've just covered with sort of a linen fabric, um, just to make them sort of look a little bit more neutral and I've tied a red ribbon around them just to make them Christmassy. And then my Nutcracker is from Kmart this year. He was about $12. So that's everything Christmassy just here. And then if we spin around, this is the front living room. This is all new last year. I didn't have anything in this front room except for a bunch of junk. So now I'm actually able to decorate it. So it's a lot of fun. The couches are just Ikea couches. And then the cushions I have, um, this one and there's one the same over there. They are from Next Direct. The red one is from Pottery Barn. And if you saw my videos last year, you would know that I ordered these after Christmas when they're on sale. And I ordered one and they ended up sending me, I think, three or four. So I have heaps of them around. And I only sort of spent 
I think it was maybe $25 to get all four, which was amazing. So that is from Pottery Barn. So the Noel cushion is from Big W. They're really, really soft and nice. So if you see them in store, have a feel because they're really, really soft. And then they've got sequins with a little reindeer. I'm not sure where the throw is. That's always there. So it's been there for a little while. On this side, we have pretty much the same. So the same next cushion, Pottery Barn. And then this one, I think, was from Kmart um, a little while ago, though. So I don't know if you can still get it. And then I have one down here. This throw rug is from Ikea. So in the middle of the coffee table here, I just have this little white sleigh. This is from Maya, and I think it was, I want to say $50. It's just got some green greenery in there, and then some twiggies, some little jingle bells, and some pine cones, and I love it. It's like frosted and flocked. I really, really think this is so pretty. And then in the corner over there, I have a Christmas tree from Ikea. Um, I don't think I'm going to leave it in here, actually. I think I'm going to take it outside and use it. I'll use it for our Christmas party that we have outside, but um, I think in the meantime as well. I don't have enough baubles to decorate it, so I'm going to take it outside and sort of have it in there. If we swing around to this side, so this is just a buffet and a ladder shelf that I have. I'm actually hoping to get a couple of sort of single armchairs to go here, but I don't have anything there yet. So at the moment we can just walk straight through into here. Um, and all this stuff pretty much is new. The, the ladder shelf is from Kmart. They have them year round. Um, this little tree is from Bed Bath & Table. I got it last year um, and it's pre-lit. These little houses are all from Big W. They came in a set for I think about $30 um, and they just switch on and off. These baubles that I have around the ladder shelf are the same ones that I have out the front around the front door. So that's what they look like when they're lit up. Um, and again, I got them for about three, three to five dollars, three or five dollars, I think, from um, their bath and table last year. And um, the little gnome Santa is from IKEA. I think he is absolutely adorable. I love him. The reindeer bust head thing is from Kmart, I believe, a couple years ago. Um, have had that for a little while now. And then the antlers are from the bed, bath and table Christmas range. It's actually a napkin holder. Um, but I just liked it as decoration, so that's down there. And then over here we have a little, another little Christmas tree from Bed Bath & Table. I love this one, it's all frosted and flocked and just gorgeous. The wreath is from Adairs a couple years ago. I think they have a very similar one though this year, so if you like it you can probably find, like I say, something really similar. Um, and then these I got from Kmart oh, a couple months ago, and I just think they look sort of like Christmas Eve, so I put them there. And then this little candle holder, I think this was from Bed Bath & Table as well. I can't remember, it was from last year, but I'm pretty sure Bed Bath & Table. And then the antlers I've had from a couple years, they were from Target. Down here on the fireplace, see this is our chimney. This is why Santa can't fit down our chimney. Um, but this is my little Santa. He came from Big W last year. I haven't actually seen any um, standing Santas in Big W, Big w this year, so I'm not sure if they still have them, but he I've had, yeah, for a couple years now. In this little basket, I have a mixture of real pine cones and then the same ones from in the entryway on the entryway table from kosh.com.au. And then I have, oh, that was noisy. And then I have these little antlers that I got from Adairs. They're actually, you know, meant to be ornaments for the tree, but I already had a couple on there by the time I got these. So I thought I would just put them in here as decoration. I think they sort of, oh, that's so noisy. They sort of make the bowl look a little bit more full. And then over here, this little tree is from Adairs. Um, I think next year I probably won't have this out here like this. I probably will put, find somewhere else for it to go just because I feel like it clashes with the other Christmas greens that I have going on. Um, but I really like it. I think it's really, really cute. It's got little mistletoe berries on it. It's a little mistletoe tree, so it's really cute. Um, this little guy is from Kmart. That was this year. This little Santa snack bowl was from last year. That was Bed Bath & Table. And then this little tree is from Spotlight. They do still have them. I've had mine for years and years and years, and they brought them back out again this year. So they're definitely there. I saw them earlier. This Standing year. back at the entryway, we can walk into the kitchen. So this is the dining area. There is my tripod. <laughs> this is the dining area. And then the kitchen is over this way. So I'll just swing you back around to the dining area and show you what we have going on. If I stand over this side, I think the lighting's a bit better. So the tree in the corner is from Balsam Hill. I got that on sale uh, a few months ago, earlier this year. 
and it's just a tall skinny tree I really like it it's not one of the pre-lit ones I had to put my own lights on there and I think if I had my time again I probably would have gotten the pre-lit one it was an extra 50 or so dollars so I sort of went for the cheaper option but yeah I think I would prefer the, the pre-lit one because the lights that I've got on there now just annoy me a little bit so in the center of my dining table I have this tray which always lives on my dining table and the um, as does the basket but I have filled it up again with some baubles and some vase filler little birds I did the same thing last year this time though I did put it on one of these wreaths which is the same as the one at the entryway and then the the greenery in this wreath also matches the greenery that's along the top of my cabinets up there so that kind of ties it all in on the backs of the chairs I've done some little mistletoe bunches which are a little bit not straight at the moment and then just tied a bow with some red ribbon from Ikea and I think they look quite pretty and that's on the back of all of those chairs um, over here on this little table I have a couple of these collectible um, I don't know what you would call them collectible houses my parents have gotten these for us over the last couple of years we have this one and this one they both turn on and like do things but Owen my son has this year broken both of them in one fell swoop so they do still turn on but like this little Christmas tree is meant to spin around and he's sort of taken it off and it doesn't anymore as does the train it is meant to go around and around and around but it gets stuck now so that's really sad <laughs> but I mean that one still turns on but it doesn't do anything so that's those the three little Christmas trees I have here are from Kmart they're really glittery it's really it's a pity you can't sort of see how glittery they are but they're gorgeous and then in this jug I have from Ikea, I just put these faux berries. They're just um, little sprays of berries that you can get from quite a few different places. Um, I got mine from, hmm, don't actually remember, eBay I think actually. Yeah, I think I got them from eBay. So that's that little area there. And then you can see Taylor's little tree twinkling in the background. So that's that. And then over in the kitchen, um, it's fairly simple this year. I've just done some new garland. So I've done a bit of new garland across the top and I've put these little red berries, which the, the red berries are kind of my theme for the year. Um, you'll see that they're sort of in a few different places, but these ones are up here um, with the garland and then the garland carries on across up here. And then across the kitchen window, I just have this little felt bunting, which is reindeers in a sleigh. And then I have put some little twinkle lights. You can't really see them because their batteries are running out. But there's some little twinkle lights up there as well. So as for the rest of the decor in the kitchen, I have this candle from Dusk, which is kind of a purpley color. It shows up a little bit more red than it actually is. And I wish it was more red, but I mean, I really, that's the only one that I really like the smell of. It's the mulled wine and I'm nearly finished. It's only got a tiny little bit left. Um, this advent calendar was from Bed Bath & Table. My parents got that for me for Christmas last year, um, but they do still have them there. So if you do like it, they do have the same one. The little reindeer that you can see back here is from Spot. Spotlight. He's just a white reindeer standing on like a little thin wire stand. This tree was from Bed Bath & Table last year. I haven't seen them have this, anything similar this year so I don't know if that's still available but it does have little fairy lights in it. This one I've had for years. I could not tell you where it's from. Oh it's a Maxwell Williams one so you might be able to find something like that at House or Matchbox or one of those kind of stores. So that's those and then up here I have um, my Noel sign that was from Kmart a couple of years ago and the little trees are the ones that are from Kmart. Around this side we have another little gingerbread house. This one's from Kmart as well. And this stuff I have here all year round. It's just, I think this one's from Kmart as well. Um, Kmart or Big W and then I just put some greenery in the jug. That's not usually there. Um, anything else in the kitchen? I don't think so. And then my kids' advent calendars are up there. So my daughter's really excited because it's the 1st of December today and she's going to get her first chocolate and she just cannot wait. She's at school now, so she'll get it when she gets home. So that is how the kitchen looks. Also put our Christmas photos from the last few years up on the fridge. Um, so you can see Taylor getting bigger and bigger and Owen's only been in two so far, but... I really, really love our Santa that we go see. We're going to go see him again this year soon. Um, we have to travel a fair way to, to get to him, but yeah, I think he is worth it. He is so amazing. We'll just head into the bedrooms. Okay, so now we are in my son Owen's room. Um, so starting off with his stocking, he has, actually we all have these same ones from Target last year. They didn't have them this year, but um, 
yeah, they had that gray stocking instead this year. So it's just a like a traditional knit. And then I bought these little um, tags from McW this year. They are just sort of a paper, like a card kind of material. And then there's glitter on the outside. And I did our initials. So Owen's obviously got an O. And they're cute. They have a little jingle bell. So that is his stocking. Um, his bed is just the same as always. He does always have this cushion here, but I feel like it is a bit Christmassy because the bear's wearing a little red hat. Um, but yeah, that's there year round. His little Christmas tree. Um, Taylor and Owen both have the same Christmas trees. This is his. It's a cute little flocked one. I got it from kosh.com.au, which I'll link below. I think it was about $39. Um, maybe a little bit cheaper, but it's really nice quality. He has got, I, I decorated it for him. He did help me, but um, yeah, I did pretty much the majority of it for him. He just has some sort of red and white ornaments. He has a few cute little ones. Um, all his ornaments are pretty much from Big W. I think that one's from Spotlight. He has this little guy, which he got last year in his stocking from Bed, Bath and Table. My mum got him this. I think this is from... <laughs> <laughs> I think this is from Big W. This one from my parents as well. And then just some little red, grey and white baubles. So that's his Christmas tree. He also has this uh, Merry Christmas banner garland thing um, from Big W. Last year they had the same ones this year. That's a bit better. So, okay, so it's a gold, black and white glittery Christmas garland. Um, it says Merry Christmas, obviously. I think... I think it was about $6 I'm more, don't quote me on that though. Um, but yeah, they have them again this year at Big W. He also has this little Santa from Target, I think maybe last year or the year before. He's just a little bobbly one. I think they have similar ones again this year. And then he also has a snow globe from my parents that doesn't actually have snow. <laughs> it just um, has a little train that goes around and obviously plays a Christmas carol. So that's everything that Owen has in his room. Okay, and then coming into my daughter's room, she again has the same Christmas stocking as Owen does um, with a little T initial on there. Her name is Taylor in case you're new. And then she has this little tree which she decorated herself. Um, I put the lights on for her and then she decorated it with all the ornaments that I gave her. She also has a few ornaments that are ones that she made at school. Um, she's got a couple she's painted on here what else has she got she made this cute little snowflake i really like this one i think this is adorable and then yeah she had a few other ornaments that um, i let her have so that is her little christmas tree so she has this little um santa ornament on her bedside table i bought him i think probably the first year we moved out of home so years and years and years ago um from the two dollar store actually so he's really cute he is a bit he's getting a bit wobbly now but he's lasted really well and she really likes him um there is a picture frame above her bed this is just a picture we had for ever i don't actually um, want this to be the picture that's in her room but I've just put this up here now I've actually purchased a print from Battle Chic who is a YouTuber as well she does awesome Christmas videos but yeah she did some printables and has an Etsy shop now so I bought a print from her which I need to get printed up but it's basically a um it's like a Christmas night sky so I will put on my Instagram so if you don't already follow me on Instagram make sure you do because when I put the print into the frame I will take a photo and pop it on Instagram so you can see it there um she also has this really cute um, Christmas bedding that I got from Next Direct Australia, which I thought was so cute. It just has little Christmas trees on it, pink and grey, lots of little woodland creatures, and it's just, I just love the colour scheme really. Um, I think it's gorgeous. So she has the pillow as well, as well as her canopy. And what else does she have? So on her dressing table, she has this little um, house, I suppose you'd say from Pottery Barn Kids. I bought this just the other day. I had a gift batch for Pottery Barn and I finally spent it. I bought, yeah, like I say, this one, which is about $34, which I actually thought was a really good price for Pottery Barn. Um, it's really gorgeous. It's quite tall. It's, you know, flocked on top and then it lights up as well. So really, really cute. I really like that. Um, she has this snow globe, which again, she got from my parents, I think for her first Christmas. I'm pretty sure they get them snow globes for their first Christmas. So that's that one. And then on her shelves, she does just have this little pink form which I bought for her for her first Christmas and lastly she has her little Christmas banner up here again says Merry Christmas from Big W and the, the colors on this one are gold pink and sort of a champagne color so 
that is her Christmas banner. So I've just shut the curtain so you can see all the little lights and everything that she's got. And how pretty it looks. It is still daytime, but. So this is our master bedroom this year. Um, this is the first year I've actually done any sort of Christmas bedding. Um, so yeah, I got this bedspread from nextdirect.com.au or Next Direct Australia. I'll, put, I'll link it down below. Um, I don't think it was from the Christmas range, but obviously it's very Christmassy. Um, I really, really love it. So that's what's on our bed. The cushion cover is from Pottery Barn. I bought it last year, but they do have them again this year. We also have these cute little twinkle lights on our across our bed head, which I really like these. They've got little pine cones and the little berries, which I like the berries. I've got the berries as a theme throughout the entire house, which you'll see. Um, that was from AW last year. I haven't actually looked at what they've got in terms of sort of lights and garlands this year, so they may still have it. I'm not sure. It was pretty inexpensive. And then on each of our bedside tables, we have little um, Christmas trees, which if you watched any of my hauls, you would have seen when I purchased these. I got these from Big W. Um, right at the beginning of the season, but I assume they would still have them. And then the little pot that they're sitting in is from Ikea. They actually come in just a burlap base, but I thought I would put it in a pot just to sort of make it a bit more substantial for the bedside tables. My bedside table is the same, same little tree, but then I just have this little Santa Claus that I bought from Coles years and years and years ago. Um, He's a tea light holder, but I don't ever have anything in him, and I just think he's really, really cute. I really love him. And then on this side of the room, we have our chest of drawers and our faux fireplace that our TV sits on. So on the chest of drawers, all I've done is added this reindeer, which I think I had this here last year. It was from Target. Um, they have similar things again this year if you like that kind of look. It's just flocked with silver sparkly um, antlers. I just thought that was really cute, quite elegant. And then on here, I always hang this piece of... Um, green garland. It does have little pine cones in it. I don't worry about lighting this because we never, like, we never have it on when watching TV or anything. So, just the green garland there, and then our stockings are hidden underneath here. <laughs> this one's Joe's again. He's got the little J initial, and this is mine. I've got the T as well. So the guest bathroom is pretty simple. All I've done is put this silvery um, Christmas tree in here. I think that one was from Target or maybe Spotlight. It was from a few years ago, but they have things around like that. So if you like it, you can try and find one. Um, and then I've just put this little soap. I think this is from Bed Bath and Table. I got it as a gift last year, but I just put that there for decorative purposes. I forgot to mention earlier on my desk, I have this little red sleigh. This is a handmade sleigh and it was made by the wife of our carpenter that comes and does bits and pieces that we need doing. Um, you know whenever we need a carpenter so she's made this she started making these you can get them online she's going to be selling and shipping internationally I think this one I paid about $20 for it um, and I really like it it's a really nice size I'm going to use it outside when we have our Christmas party and just put our sauces in there I think it's really cute but that is that it's a nice like I say decent size I just have that on my desk for now I will link her Facebook page down below because like I say you can get that online and you can she will ship it internationally as well Okay, and lastly is the living room, which is where our main Christmas tree is um, and where our TV is, where we spend all our time pretty much. Now, it pretty much never, ever, ever <laughs> looks this clean. Um, I've just got come in and sort of packed away all the toys, but it gives you an idea of what it would look like if, you know, we had no children or life. So <laughs> this is the Christmas tree. I've gone for a kind of a deep red cranberry pomegranate theme with white ornaments, um, white and neutral colour ornaments. So I'm going to do a few little close-ups here so you can see all the different bits and pieces that I've got. But like I've said earlier, my main theme this year has been these little berries. So rather than do an actual tree topper this year, I've just gone ahead and made, I don't know what you would even call this, but like a crown for the tree kind of thing. Um, and I absolutely love it, to be honest. I've never, ever, ever done um, ornaments on my tree before. It's always been baubles in the past, but um, yeah, really had fun shopping for these ornaments and yeah, making the tree a bit different to how I usually do it. Um, down the bottom, I have a tree collar which is this basket thing here. Um, if you watched my Decorate With Me video, you saw I had a bit of drama trying to get it to work for my tree, but um, it's there now. And the reason it is, I mean, you can't really tell through the camera, it just looks like it's lit up, but it does have fairy lights underneath um, 
inside the basket. So I used all the fairy lights on my tree, but the string I had was way too long. So I just bundled them up underneath and put the tree collar around and it actually looks really, really pretty in real life. You can't really see, but yeah, the fairy lights are in there. And then this tree skit I've had for a few years now, it is from Etsy. Um, I don't believe that the seller is still on Etsy, but you can find really, really similar tree skirts. So you just need to look up burlap or hessian tree skirt and you'll find something similar. Um, I really like the fringe around the outside. That's my favorite part, favorite part of the tree skirts so that is the tree and then over here i've done these um this series of four prints which again i got these from etsy they're just printable so i've just printed them out on my home computer and stuck them in these frames that i have here year round so we have some holly some poinsettia some mistletoe and don't know what that is but <laughs> um, i really like how they all look together and they have the pop of red um, on the couches i just have a few little cushions i have this fairy one from Kmart. This one, which is really cute, it's got all the reindeer's names on it, is from Next. Really, really like that one. That's brand new this year. This side, I have this typography cushion that I got from Target years and years ago. Pottery Barn again. <laughs> and then this one, I think I got from rosegal.com. It was only a couple, couple dollars, but I just sort of yeah, I thought it was cute. Um, over on this little side table, which is also usually a mess, I have this vase that I always have out, and then I've just put some more of those little greenery frond things from Kmart, and then I've added some of these cranberries um, or pomegranates, not really sure what they are, but little red berries, same berries that are next to the other Christmas tree in the dining room, so they're in there. And then these two reindeers I only got the other day, they are again from Pottery Barn, which I bought them with my gift voucher that I had. <laughs> which I've had that since my birthday so I finally spent it and I absolutely love what I got. Um, so they are tartan reindeers. They have a cute little pine cone for their tail. Their horns are just sticks that are glittery and I got two. So I got both sizes, the larger one and the smaller one. Absolutely love them. They're my favorite thing. I actually got them because on my tree, I'll just show you, I have this little ornament which I bought from Spotlight and here's my favorite ornament. I absolutely love it. Every time I look at it, I just get happy. And then when I saw those other ones at Pottery Barn, I just was like, oh, it's just like the one on the tree. So that's there. Also from Pottery, ba Pottery Barn, I got this Merry Christmas Scarlet. This is from Pottery Barn Kids. It's really glittery and it's really like sturdy. The actual letters themselves are quite hefty. The, I mean, I suppose it's probably cardboard, but it's a really, really tough, hard cardboard. So it's not going anywhere and it's on a, and it's on a jute string. So I really like that. And then on the actual TV unit, I would love to have some garland across here, but this is where Owen drives his cars up and down. So he will not allow that. He throws it off whenever I try to put it on there. So no garland on there. Um, I have put some pine cones into my hurricane lantern. So they're all there. They're the fake ones that I got from Kosh.co. And then in this little tray, I have these um, berry, um, what do you call them, berry sprays that I got from Bed Bath & Table last year. They were an absolute bargain. I think I ended up getting them for about $6 a piece, whereas usually they're about $30 a piece. Um, they have them again this year, but obviously they're a full price at the moment. So wait until after Christmas and they'll go on sale. So I have those. This little red truck I got from Spotlight. I absolutely love that. It does light up, but I don't ever put it on at all. So I just like the look of it there. And then this candle was the very first Christmas decoration I ever got. Um, when we first moved out from Maya years and years ago, Joe lit it one one time, and I yelled at him because I don't want it to ever be lit. I don't ever want I don't want it ever to be gone. So that is my living room. Again, it's not actually usually this clean. Pretty much all the mess is behind the couch at the moment. So don't be fooled. Oh, and I also didn't show you at all on all of my living room windows. I have these pom-pom garlands they were from Kmart last year they're on all the windows you can see it over there you probably can't yeah you can see it over there and yeah I just think they add just a little bit of something extra to the window so that is my living room so that is everything for my Christmas tour. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to ask me some questions down below so I can do a Q&A later on in Vlogmas. Come along and follow along with Vlogmas. Make sure you're subscribed. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.